Hi, it's Lisa Schumann. I'm here to talk to you today about another tool that you can put in your toolbox, and that is six steps to feeling the way you want to feel. Now, we can't get you to feel exactly the way you want to feel because, of course, then there would be no issue, right? Um, and your family building journey may not go the way that you want it to go. You may not have exactly what you want in your life in terms of what your children are doing or how they're behaving or what's happening to you, but we can help you change the way that you feel and so that your life can be a little bit better while you go through this until you get to your goal. So number one would be to start to think about how you want to feel. What is your goal? Do you want to have a baby? Do you want to see yourself with three children running in the backyard? Do you have children ready but you want to see their behavior change? How do you see your life in a way that you want it to be? So think about that. And then think about the feeling connected with that. So let's say you're holding your baby, you feel a sense of warmth or a sense of joy or a sense of fulfillment. Um, you see your kids running around the backyard and you feel excitement and a lightness to you. So think about that feeling that's associated with your goal. And then the next step would be to pair that feeling with a similar feeling that's already happened. So let's say you want to feel that warmth that you would feel holding a baby. Maybe you've felt a similar warmth, even though it's not the same, holding your best friend or your mom, or maybe in your partner hugging you or something like that, that you felt this sort of warmth and good feeling. Maybe it's in your stomach, maybe it's a warmth in your chest, Maybe you just feel so relaxed, you just want to feel limp. Think about how that feeling connects to something that you've already experienced. Okay? All right. Then pair that feeling with an action. So the first action will be to start to tell yourself what that, those feelings are over and over again. So the first step is to do it by writing in a journal every day. So you write in the journal, I feel relief, I feel joy, I feel happiness, I feel a sense of calm, whatever you're feeling. Once a day, just write it in your journal. The next part would be to say it every day. Now you can make a game out of this if you like, but you'll say it to a friend or maybe somebody at Starbucks, but try to work it into a conversation. So you can say something about, oh, I love this tea and I feel such a sense of joy every day or it makes me feel so happy or it, it really calms me to have this. So think about those feelings that you want, even if it's not associated with your end goal, but you want to bring that feeling back into your world over and over again. So try to work it into your daily routine in some way. And then the last step would be to put it into a meditation practice. So even if you're not familiar with meditation or you're not that comfortable with it, you can use it kind of like a mantra that you would say over and over again. You can do it for five minutes if that's all you can do. Ten minutes would be preferable. It's preferable to do it in the morning, but if you can do it at night or in your lunch break, that's fine too. So set your timer on your phone or your watch or wherever you can set a timer for the time that you can manage. And then start to say those feelings over and over again like a mantra. You can put some meditation music in the background. You can have some classical music in the background, whatever feels good to you. And just say it over and over again. Now, are you going to feel like, well, I'm lying to myself? Yeah, you might feel that way initially, but it's okay. You need to repeat it over and over to yourself. I feel happy. I feel joy. I feel excitement. I feel relief over and over again for that time. Now I suggest that you try this for one week and then at the end of the one week I would really be happy if you could just email me and let me know how you're doing. We'd love to hear from you and we always want to know how our tools are working to help the people that we care for. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.